But work will continue at least until the weekend, but the T says it's already started the process of reactivating the orange line in time for Monday. A first hand look at new tracks along the orange line in Charlestown. The T's general manager says the line is set to reopen on time. I am confident that we will reopen on Monday morning. He says the work to replace tracks, ties and rail is almost done. The T rolling out 64 new orange line cars up from 30. You have a, a far better than 50 50 shot at getting a, a new car. Two weeks ago, the feds released a scathing safety review of the T prompting the shutdown. In July, an orange line train caught fire over the Mystic River, sending people jumping out windows. Passengers say they'd take the tea more often if it was faster and more reliable. 100% if the tea was like more reliable, I would 100% take the tea. Others looking forward to fewer shuttle buses on the streets and less gridlock. I've been working at home most of the time. I just know traffic's been backed up whenever I've been trying to drive around. Uh, so looking forward to get the roads a little clear. Poftak says the T is talking about the possibility of hitting the brakes on parts of other lines to make needed improvements, but he says nothing quite as dramatic as another 30 day shutdown. We cannot get all this work done in a narrow window on the overnight. We're going to have to do some more significant investment and that's going to mean greater access to the track. Doesn't necessarily mean diversions of this size. This one is extraordinary. Now, tomorrow, state lawmakers will hold their second oversight hearing on safety at the MBTA. We're live here in Charlestown, Charmin Skinny, WCVB News Center 5.